Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Razor. So, welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Galaxy. In the previous episode, Rose was under attack by the. or by Bokog, and he wanted the internal key plate. Father Rule told Jess not to give the key plate, the key plate to Bokog, so he essentially sacrificed himself. But he left behind an item for Jaster. In the item, had a showed a holograph, telling Jaster and crew to head to Kuja Desert. So in this episode, we're gonna head on over to Kuja Desert here in Rosa. So let's go ahead and go. So let's see, Salgan. I'm not sure where to teleport to. Hold on a second. Okay, we gotta go near the church. Alright. So we're gonna teleport on over there. Alright, so let's head on over the gate. Cutscene here. Jaster. Yeah? Just thinking here, but... Dorgan Goa said he used the key, but nothing happened. You think maybe that's because you weren't around when he tried? What? What do you mean? Well, the thing is... You've got some kind of secret deep within you. Before you hit the desert, give the ruins one more try. It just might work if you're the one doing it. Wait. Desert Claw. You need to head for Kuja Desert. Why? I'm afraid I've tampered with the gate to the ruin. The key you have won't do a thing. But why? Why would you get in our way? If you open the path now, only destruction awaits. I can't let you go to Eden just yet. You've awoken the power of the Star King, Jaster. But not entirely. The power of the Star King? Yes, the power you used when fighting Seed. You hold the potential to unlock that vast power within you. And that's why I gave you the Desert Seeker the first time we met. So, from the very beginning you've been... Right. I had to guide you on your way so that you could unleash your true power. That's why I've been traveling to the galaxy. All to save our universe from destruction. Destruction? Right now. You should go to the place Raul specified. Go there, and everything will become clear. But what's there? The truth. You'll learn everything once you get there. That's where our journey began. Yours and mine. Huh? Farewell. Hey, wait! What is all this? I still don't understand. Everyone just loves secrets, don't they? If we want to find out the truth, we'll just have to go there. Come on, Jester. Raul. What is it? What are you trying to tell me? Alright, so apparently the Desert Claw wants us to go to Kuja Desert. What could possibly be in the middle of this desert? That will guide your way. Go now, Jester. The truth. You'll learn everything once you get there. That's where our journey began. Yours and mine. Raoul. Well, what am I supposed to be looking for out here?
Alright, so we got a transporter here. So I'm gonna cut the video here and I'll be right back. And then we'll head on to the QJ Desert. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. I activated the transporter. I was gonna save it and all that, but got a scene here. Steve began using transporters to send messages. It's a pity, Dr. Picaccio. Someone as highly regarded as you doing something like this. You know that duplicating memories is strictly forbidden. Yet you kept your son Mark's memories hidden inside Steve, a robot you've created specifically for this purpose. You are hereby under arrest in violation of Article Number 3241 of the Galactic Federation Law. They'll search the control room and confiscate any and all evidence related to Steve. Wait! Please wait! Don't you understand, Dr. Picaccio? That's not your son in there. It's nothing more than a collection of data with the same memory information as your son before he passed away. Doctor, everyone must die one day. Even those who we love very, very much are no exception. It really is a pity, Dr. Picaccio, having to send a great man like you to prison. We need to secure the evidence related to this crime. We're looking for a multi-purpose humanoid robot named Steve. Hurry! Sir! No! Leave Steve alone! I beg you! Oh my! This is terrible! What should we do? Dad! Listen, Steve. There's something only you can do. Only me? Yeah. You're the only one who can delete me. What are you saying? Hurry! You have to delete me! Otherwise, they'll get Dad! Absolutely not! I could never do that! The Doctor would be completely devastated without you! I... I'm not human. I'm... I'm just memories. Mark's memories. Nothing but... Nothing but data. Uh... uh... We're not going to make it! Delete me, Steve! I can't. Dad and I have to part ways, Steve. Or he'll never stand on his own two feet again. Please, Steve. Help him. Help my father! Oh, Mark, what are you doing? Goodbye, Steve. Mark! We just leave him like that? 
It doesn't matter. You can't arrest him without evidence. That's enough for today. I'd say we've done our jobs, haven't we? Mark! Mark! Is it true? Are you really gone? Mark! And you cared so much for Dr. Picaccio? Doctor, what makes a human, human? Suddenly, I'm not so sure anymore. Alright, so I had another emotional scene. Last episode, we got the emotional scene where Father Raul died. And then that scene just now, where Mark disappears. I was going to head on through the Kuja Desert in this episode, but I remember we got to do some hunts. So we're going to do them in this episode. Uh, the Seaside Terror and Wrath to the Underworld. Both of these can be done in Elystia. So, what I'm going to do is cut the video here and I'll meet you in Elystia. And I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. We're here in Elystia. The now past the seaway. Basically, I teleported to the... Navasa Seaway beginning and then ran over to here. So yeah, I come over here to the map. You got a thinking circle here. Let's go ahead and use it. To throw out the planet's top carnivore. Confuse its sense of smell. With a dose of, of the powerful drink that seafaring men love. So for to lure out this hunt, you need a pirate's crog. If my control would stop messing up. Pirate's grog. So let's go ahead and use it. The seaside terror scaled on. Now you want to kill this thing as quickly as you possibly can because it goes underground and you ain't going to be able to damage it while it's underground. So, you want to try to kill it as quickly as you possibly can. So, use Illusion Sword Level 2. An Aromatic Boost. And he's already going to go underground. I didn't mean to switch characters there, I meant to heal. Do I use Illusion Sword again? Yeah, be sure to block his attack as we can. Almost got him. Do up Jupiter a little bit there and finish him off. All right. And for defeating that hunt, you get 590 Zen and a Vice Predator, and also 5500 EXP. I believe the Vice Predator is for uh, Simon, I think. Yeah, we got another one. So we got two Vice Predators. Two Vice Predators now. Alright, so let's head back to the transporter. We'll go fight that other hunt now. Might as well exchange the points for him. 12,000, but we're already in rank 1 anyway, so it don't really matter. 
but I'll go ahead and exchange it anyway. Now we want to teleport to the fastest seaway endpoint. Now we want to go south. Right down there is where it's at. Alright, an angel of death, guiding souls to the underworld, who set sail on a journey from which none can ever return. Hold to the sky a box that plays a dark tune. So for this hunt, you need a dark music box. So we'll go ahead and use a dark music box. The fairy in the world, Odessa's vessel, or something like that. Alright, illusion sword double two. Aromatic boost. Ow. You like most enemies in this game, it's pretty hard. Aromatic boost again. Illusion sword. You're not saying a direct path of them either. Go ahead and help Steve a little bit there. I did not mean to do that. Looks like a Jasper here. Drop for his AoE attacks. Ow. Oh crap, watch out. No, I want to keep fighting. Aromatic boost of Jupus. Make sure you stay healed up. Ow. Max Hill and Jupus. Hurry up, Jupus. Aromatic boost again. Almost got him. Come on, guys. Come on, a couple more hits. All right, we got him. All right. And for be defeating that hunt, you get 565 uh, Zen Pluto drivers and 6,000 EXP. Uh, I believe the Pluto drivers are for Steve.
together. Fist for Steve. Alright. Alright, so I'm in the video here. In the next episode, we'll head, we'll head back to Kujay Desert. And we'll head through that area. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And be sure to check out my other guides. And videos on my channel. Please subscribe. Later.